Jesus' name we pray. Almighty Father, already we know that you love us. So we are behaving very free before you as a child that knows my father loves me. So Father, we are here before you. Thank you for the world you have given to your servant to deliver to all of us. We will take this world. We will obey this world. And we shall see you do special things in our life. Thank you for answering. In Jesus' name we pray. Receiving your heart's desire through evangelism and soul winning. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, God is taking us to another line. We will exploit it. The benefit of evangelism. The benefit of soul winning. The Lord said this year, he will answer special prayer. I say special prayer because of the special assignment of evangelism and soul winning. In the book of John chapter 15, I read verse 16. John chapter 15, verse 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name he may give it you. You have scarcely been exploiting this scripture. Now, God has set this preacher, this scripture before us this year. And he is saying, test and see that I am faithful. I am good to my world. Test and see the special answer that will follow you because you are obeying the scripture this year fully. Amen? Oh, test and see. Look at the book of Psalm 34. I read verse Psalm 34. Yes. I read verse 8. Oh, test and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Do what the Lord has said. Your circumstance shall change. Your situation shall change. And what is the Lord telling you? Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. That and ordained you. That ye should go and bring forth fruit. And that your fruit should remain. That's what Jesus is saying. Go and bring forth the fruit of evangelism and soul winning and let that soul abide in Christ. Then test me and see. If your prayers this year will not be answered readily, test me and see. If that heart desire will not be granted unto you for this assignment the Lord has given to you, go and work for me. I will pay you. Go to my field and work for me. I will pay you. And I'll be very faithful to you. I'll be very faithful to you. Children, youths, Adult men, adult women, old ones, the Lord is saying, go this year and get people for me. 
win souls for me and follow them up that they shall abide. It's not sowing to the wind. Let them abide and watch me what I will do in your life. And bring those, your heart desires before God and see if the Lord will not answer them. God is telling you in the book of Numbers chapter 23 verse, 9, verse 19 He's not a man that he will be telling you lies. He's telling you I'm giving you assignment. Go and do this assignment and then come and ask anything that you desire. Look at it said God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Has he told you? Has he said, and shall he not do it? Has he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Has God given you this assignment, and will not bless you? Has he spoken that he will answer your prayers, the desire of your heart, and will he not do it? In the book of Matthew chapter 20, Matthew chapter 20. Yes, he is a faithful God that gives assignment. Yes, in verse 1, from verse 1. For the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man, or, or is like unto a man that is an householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. That's what God is doing. It's an agreement now. Between you and God, the creator. Between you and the Lord Jesus, the Savior, the Lord of mankind. There's an agreement this year. You are entering, you have you are entering into agreement with God this year. I'm sure you will like it. Will you like it? Will you like it? Simple. He said, go walk in my vineyard to bring fruit for me. Go walk in my vineyard. The vineyard is the, is the world. Go and harvest them for me. Go and labor and see I will give you the desire of your heart. Let those who are looking for children enter into this covenant with God. Let those who are looking for job enter into this covenant with God. Let those who are looking for deliverance in all form enter into this covenant with God. Let those who are looking for money enter into this covenant with God. Let those who are looking for opportunities in life enter into this covenant with God to go into the labor the vineyard of God the field of God to labor he said I will give you the desire of your heart for many years you have been carrying that desire a simple thing now is given to you it's now a matter of a year that matter you will celebrate with God you will give testimony with mankind about what God has done this year. This year you will celebrate. Something is coming to your family. Your desire shall be fulfilled. This year you will celebrate. What you desire for your children shall be done. Heaven shall answer them. Heaven shall do it for you. This year you will celebrate. Your marriage will come to pass. I say your marriage will come to pass. Your will will be granted. This year. Because I entered into covenant relationship with God. Go to my field. Go to my vineyard. He had agreed with the laborers. And he will not fail. On the sight of God, no fellow. He has said, go into my field. Harvest for me. I will give you the desire of your heart. 
Whatever you pray, I will answer. Yes. That is it. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, I will give you. And they went their way into the vineyard. They were standing idle. You are not employed. You are not doing any job. There's a job to do that pays. What is the salary of that job? The desire of your heart. All that you desire is the salary of that job. The wages, the reward, the benefit of that job. Go into it. Take your family into it. Carry your family. Go for it. The Lord will visit that family. Then present what that family is looking for. The creator said it shall be given to you. This is what the Lord desires. Yes. And again, he went out about the sixth and ninth hour and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour, come to age. You are old. You are in your eleventh hour. You know, all things will stop after one hour. The twelfth hour, everything is gone. But you still have one hour in life. Go and invest it in this work. Then, you are praying that you will make heaven. Ask God, you want to enter heaven. You will have it. That's what the Lord is saying. Whatsoever you desire, and you desire heaven, in this eleventh hour you are meeting with Jesus, by walking for him, you will have it. I say you will have it. Now, the year will come to an end. At the, you will see at the end what the Lord has done. At the end, you will be counting, count your blessings year by year that this God is faithful. For this God is faithful. He wants to do something. That's why he gave you assignment. He wants to hear your prayers. That's why he gave you assignment. He wants to fight your enemies. That's why he's giving you assignment. As a show of obedience. Then he will fight your enemy. He will deal with the forces that have been against you. He's giving you this assignment. Go and do this assignment. Elijah said unto the, woman, the widow woman. He said, thus says the Lord. Give, do, go and do those things for me. Then the burial of flour shall not finish the cruise of oil shall not finish until you enter into abundance of life but then go and beg for me first go and do it that's what god is saying go and beg for me first go into the field of evangelism make this year year of evangelism and soul winning make it that's the year. God is asking you to go for it. Then you will see the goodness of the Lord. For he wants to open your eyes to the promise that appears to be unclaimed by many because of ignorance or avoidance of hard work for the Lord in soul winning. This scripture tells us the reward of soul winning and evangelism. God demands that we engage in evangelism with definite purpose of winning a soul to him and following up the soul so that he remains in Christ. Hallelujah. This is wonderful. A man here met with me with his wife. He has been pastoring in one other church for many years. 13 years. But one of our brothers here kept on inviting him to Holiness Revival Movement. Kept on inviting him. He knew that there was a campground like this. He knew about it. But he didn't know the things that happened here. He thought it was just a camp. Anybody who wanted to pray could come and pray. He could even come here and buy books without knowing 
uh, what God was doing here that this is a fellowship place so during program uh, ministers program our brother went and invited him he came and saw the difference wonderful then this December again he was here ah he said God is here this is the gate of heaven do you know what the Lord helped him to do he went to resign his 13 years pastoral fellowship with his church to become fully surrendered to holiness revival movement I'm telling you now he's thanking the brother <laughs> brother pastor I want you to see what your your brother did he the wine that you gave to the soul widow is in my office now he brought it to me and said the man gave me a bottle of wine for what good work I have done and I felt it is my father in the Lord that should drink the wine and that wine is with me now it's my fridge I'm telling you hallelujah praise the Lord I have told you go and see what the Lord will do for your life you, he will do wonderfully now these people are celebrating with their with the wife this brother is celebrating with the wife so happy and I'm also so happy with them amen God is happy with them I'm waiting for your converts the Lord shall bring you with them when you shall be introducing them to me and I will be rejoicing with you hey your convert is going to be a great man in the society claim what I'm saying because it's going to be true I'm talking to somebody here that your convert is going to be a very high man in the society and you will bring him in humility amen God is ready to do something yes it is because God is about to do something that he gave us this year and gave us this assignment uh, how many of you are going to obey the Lord ah receive the goodness of the Lord in your life receive the grace of the Lord in your life receive the power of the Lord in your life may God make you joyful this year may your prayers receive speedy answer in Jesus name yes that's what God is going to do the reward of this assignment is great anything you desire from the father ask him he will give to you that is what the Lord has decided for us this year whoever anywhere you join us in this assignment you have the same reward because we serve the same God of righteousness and holiness in holiness revival movement we have decided to lay hands on this promise yes John 15 16 when you see your brother on the way your sister in the way just be asking how is John 15 16 how is it going on he will he will understand what it means this year is John 15 16 say it exactly and this year is called the year of fruitful evangelism and answered prayers the year of fruitful evangelism and answered prayers the testimony that you will be sharing this year will be so great I'm speaking earnestly because rocks shall be broken for you valleys shall be filled up for you because of what you will do because of what we shall see your zeal for Jesus we shall see your zeal your performance for Jesus now Christ call and ordination Christ call. Look, look, go back to that scripture John chapter 15 verse 
16. John 15, 16. He said, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit. I have ordained you. I have called you and ordained you. I have called you, made a choice of you and established you, commissioned you I have made a choice of you. Something is going to happen in your, in your life. This year, is, you will be ministering in a higher way. Because since you have been chosen by God, specially, and given his assignment, see the powers that shall be working. In the book of Mark, Chapter 3, verse 13 to 15. Mark chapter, chapter 3, verse 13 to 15. And he goeth up into a mountain and calleth unto him whom he would call it. Present tense. Is he calling them now? Is he calling them now? And you are part of him. You are part of the call. He called unto him whom he would. He made a special choice of you. He made a special choice of us. He came to us and said, My children, in holiness revival movement, I give this year for you a year of evangelism, of fruitful evangelism and answer prayers. I will do special work among you. I will be answering prayers. But I want to attach it to hard work. Evangelism. Not that he will not answer other aspects of prayers in your life, but there are special prayers that the Lord will handle. The type that only this one can give you. Only hard work can give you. There are certificates that people get, but there are certificates that come after examination the certificate of attendance that you went somewhere they gave you a certificate you attended but this one he wants to give you certificate after your study and examination god is giving you special answers because you walked he's calling you for it walk and receive this Go to my vineyard and I will pay you. Go to my vineyard, walk, and I will pay you. Your handset, your telephones shall be working over time at this time. You will be calling people. You will be sending texts. No, you are not going to be a Yahoo person, but you are going to be an evangelism person on the need evangelism everywhere that is what God wants us to do amen every believer is a disciple of Jesus called out of the world of sin to God to serve him in righteousness and holiness here we see the call of Jesus upon you you have left the sinful world to him you, you have received this call as he gave it to his disciples, he called them for a definite purpose. See the purpose. He called them here in verse, in verse 13, in Mark chapter 3. And he goeth up into a mountain and called unto him whom he would. And they came unto him. Will you resist Jesus? Will you resist his assignment? And he ordained 12. Um, 12 that they should be with him and that he might send them forth to preach and to have power to heal sicknesses and to cast out devils your level has increased i say you will see an increased level in your christian life <laughs> woman it will surprise you that you will cast out devils you yourself it will look like for your first time 
All this time, they say, cast out devil. You have not tried it before. You are going to try it with a success because you are going in obedience and the power of this commission shall go with you. The power of this assignment shall go with you. What did the Lord say? It means your fellowship with God shall increase. The presence of God in your life shall increase because he is calling you to come and be with him, to come and enjoy his presence. He is calling you to send you out, to commission you on special things. Wherever the Lord has a person to serve, he will send you there. He is going to give you, he is going to guide you. He is going to direct you. He will show you where souls are there looking for him. He will lead you there. A voice, you will be hearing a voice. Here is this man, speak to him. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Here is this man, speak to him. So that you will be throwing arrows, not, not in vain. Your arrows shall enter in and get the people. Your, the word of God, the Lord will direct you to people. That you are going to preach to them. He's going to give you a backing. And now, he will pour anointing upon you. For signs and wonders, you will heal the sick. Woman, you are going to heal your husband. Amen. Man, you will heal members of your family. Hmm. Jesus will provoke you with power. He will pour faith into your life. A story was told of a young boy, maybe of 10 years. The mother couldn't give birth again after him for years and the boy came one day and was provoked in the spirit I said mother you are going to give birth to another child after me kneel down there with the power past power the mother knew that God is here now. <laughs> she knelt down the boy put hand upon the mother I command you to be pregnant in the name of Jesus you will give birth to another child it happened that is how the mother got pregnant. Yes. Power will follow you. You will change your family situation. You will change the business of your life. You will change many things in your unit, in your chapter, in your zoo, in your state, in your nation. Because of the power that shall increase in your life. Because you'll be at the job. And that job needs financing. And God is the one financing it. Yes. That's what God is calling you for. Come and be with me. I will increase my presence in your life. Because of this assignment I've given to you. And this will increase your commitment to him. You shall go round with him in soul winning and evangelism. All your ignorance. In fact, this year is a school for you. You have entered into the school. Your name has been written down. To enter into this school, it is the school of wisdom, learning from Jesus. How many of you have entered there with me? Learning from Jesus. Are you there? Yes. In the book of Matthew, chapter 4. Matthew, chapter 4. I read. Yes. The Bible tells us in verse 19. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Follow me. You don't know how to preach. You will know how to preach now. Because Jesus will make you. 
Moses complained to God. He said, take another man because I'm poor in speech. I'm a stammerer. The Lord said, who make it the mouth? Go! I will be with your mouth. This year, you will speak wonders to your surprise. I say you are going to surprise yourself <laughs> because what God will be using you to do will surprise yourself. He's the one to teach you. Follow me. I will make you. I will make you. So it's God that will make you. It's God that will make you fruitful. All this period, all through the night, Peter gathered nothing. That might be your pattern of evangelism. You have not won. In fact, some of you have not even won a single soul for Jesus since you became a Christian. You have not even produced one person. Just like Peter, we have toiled all night and we have caught nothing. Jesus said, go that direction and drop your needs for a great catch. The Lord will surprise you. The catch you are going to make me, I'm happy because I see them coming already. Yeah. I am seeing high men and women. Yeah. I am seeing whole family coming, following you, looking up to you, coming with joy and, and gratitude to Jesus. Amen. Remember the, the revelation God gave to this woman that Jesus was carrying the international director with joy in the sky. It was not like that in other places. And the Horimo was rejoicing, happy, glory. Then a man saw her and said, who is this? People don't know this man. Who is he? Truly, they don't know him. Even Jesus, when he was in the world, how many people knew him? Because he was not making noise of himself. A bruised reed shall he not break. A smoking flash shall he not quench. Yes. It is the second coming that will be shaking everywhere. The first coming was so silent. Who came to greet him among the neighborhood? Except the people angels revealed to. To come and say hello. Who are nearby? The shepherds. So, we may not be known, but our God knows us. Now, see, and the man said, with the celebration Jesus is doing with this man, everywhere in the world, people shall soon break into holiness revival movement. But you don't have signboards in where you're meeting. Waking. Jesus is publicizing a man. And you, when people want to come to the man, where will they see the sign? How will they locate him? Have signboards in your place. How many of you have units and chapters? No signboard. Raise up your hand. We want to know. We we'll very well. We want to know God is speaking here. Can you see the multitude of the people? No signboards. Is it not a message from the Lord? People are coming. Because they can't find this truth in many places. And yet the Lord is going to pour down hunger for truth. Where will they find it? Is the man the Lord has advertised. But when they come, where will they find it? Where, where, how will they recognize? How will they discover the place? Please, go and make signboards. Make signboard. Write good things. Sometimes just make a signboard and put it somewhere. Listen to this man and go to heaven. Just enough. Put it there. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. You hear me? You can do some printing, even on your own, but we want to print. Are you tired? Of going to church has no, no preacher satisfied your, your salvation needs 
Do you really want to go to heaven? Listen to the man with the message of heaven, Pastor Paul Rika. Go to the internet. Go to the YouTube. Go to the Facebook. Click here. Do this. Do this. Your converse shall be with you in heaven. Because not all of them will meet you on earth. But by that thing you write, go and throw it in the bank. Throw it down anywhere. Go to near the mosque. Throw it down there. Give them how they can locate it in the internet. Pass by Bashiga. Those these houses where they said nobody should enter. Go and put it there. Put it in their working place. Just be spreading it. Be spreading it. You will meet with your converts in heaven. I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. Publish it. This life cry of damn souls in hell. Many people have watched it, including you. Sure? Have you watched it? Life cry of damn souls in hellfire. How did it come? Uh, somebody went and discovered that in the YouTube. What he did was to, he just, uh, he printed it out and showed where it could be found in the YouTube. Life cry of damsels in hell. How you can locate it. And, was, and, and as he was going about, he was just scattering it, scattering it. Then someone got it in the vehicle as he was giving them out and brought to his office. But he didn't bother about it. It's somebody from Holiness Movement that went to that office and saw a piece of paper on the ground and picked it. Love cry of damn souls in hell. Uh, what is this? He said, I got it in the vehicle and so on. Can I go and check what is there? Yes, you can go and check what, what is there. That is how he brought it to my office, played it. Uh, it became a message for the whole world. Everywhere is, it, it, we covered the world with it. So please go and produce such a play card, flyer, whatever. Just as this complimentary card you give to people. Give this information so that wherever you go, you'll be giving people, dropping it, and so on. And watch what the Lord will do. I said this year, many things will happen in your life. The Lord is the one raising you up for some willing to do this special work for himself. You are going to do greater works for Jesus. Greater works. Greater than you have been doing. Jesus will make you do greater works than even himself. Yes. That's what God wants. Let the youths in our midst and the children know that the year before us is a year of evangelism and soul winning. And God shall use them to do great works for him. In Jeremiah chapter 1. God is saying that you, young man, young boy, young girl, yes, God knows you are a child, you are a youth, but he has chosen to use you. Don't say you are a child. In verse 4 to verse 10, Jeremiah chapter 1, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the, in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth, out of the womb I sanctify thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said, Ah, ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child. For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, said the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have 
This day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down and to build and to plant. God is going to do it. He put his hand in the mouth of this young boy and said, see, I've done something in your life. And this thing which I have done is my word. Go. Don't be afraid of persecution. I am with you. I am with you to deliver you. Go and root out evil. Go and plant righteousness. I have given that authority unto you. That's what God is saying you should go to do. Now, there was a man called Paul the Apostle. He yielded to this call of God. Lay, and I want you to be like him. I myself, I am like him. You be like him. And let's accept this commission and do it for Jesus. Let's do it. So Paul the apostle received this call and yielded the whole of his life to it. In Acts of Apostles, chapter 22, let me read from verse 12. And one Ananias, a devout, a devout man, according to the law, having a good report of all the Jews which dwell there, came unto me and stood and said unto me, Brother Saul, receive thy side. And the same hour I looked up upon him, and he said, The God of our fathers hath chosen thee, that thou shouldest know his will, and see that just one, and shouldest hear the voice of his mouth. For thou shalt be his witness unto all men of what thou hast seen and heard. The God of our fathers has chosen you. Brother, receive this grace from God. Sister, receive this grace from God. God is the one that has chosen you. Among the men in the world, among the women in the world, he has chosen you and granted you grace to come and learn these wonderful truths that the Lord is teaching us in holiness revival movement. What for? That you should go and publish it Go and tell human beings about it. Go and lead them to this truth. Go and open the eyes of men, the eyes of the churches to the living God and to the true way to serve Him. So this calling has come over to you. This is an heavenly calling. God was minded to make Jesus known to the world. Through Apostle Paul. When Paul knew this, he yielded himself to God. That God wants to make the world know Jesus through him. In Galatians chapter 1, I read verse 16. Galatians chapter 1, verse 15 and 16. 15 and 16. But when it pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the hidden immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me God chose me that he will make me preach his word. Please accept it. God chose you. When God made a choice of me, I accepted. He has made a choice of you to use you to reveal Jesus to people. It becomes yesterday, Sunday. The Lord granted me grace 
to present Jesus in a special way in the morning. Get that message. Who is Jesus? Get that message. You will be very happy to know your Lord. You will be very happy to deepen your understanding of Jesus. Now the Lord has chosen you to use you to cause these ignorant people to know their Lord, to know Jesus, to cause these Muslims to know their creator, to cause these other pagans, mean people of other religions, to know the right way. Jesus is the way. Please accept it. Give yourself for this work. You might be doing another work. Yes, you can do the two. Paul that he was preaching was a tent maker. He was a tent maker. He had other work to do. But this was paramount. And see, the world self today. The whole world. The water pole is going everywhere. So the Lord has chosen you, my sister. Give yourself to him to do this. Don't be taking permission. I will take permission from my husband to go preach the gospel, to preach on the way, preach in where you're walking, preach in your neighborhood. You need permission from your husband. Do you know really what is permission? Will you, when you, God wants you to die, will you take permission from your husband? He that winneth soul is wise. You don't know how to do this? You're looking for somebody to say, no, 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 no. Are you looking for somebody? Are you not wise enough to know how to do this evangelism? Everything is under control, decently and in order. So, that is what God wants of you. Yield to him. Paul yielded to God, gave himself for it. And God said, as for us, in holiness of our movement, this very year he is given to us go for it go for it go for special soul winning commit your heart to soul winning and evangelism accept it with joy as paul did in romans chapter 1 verse 14 to 17 romans chapter 1 the bible says I am debtor, both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So, as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that, that are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation for everyone that believeth. To the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed. From faith to faith. As it is written. The just shall live by faith. Yes. Paul said. As you see me now. I am ready. Come. In your office. There is opportunity. To ask for leave. Either one day casual leave, two days casual leave, or you can even ask for one week. They give you. Why should your leave be only when somebody dies? Hey, this one has died. I'm going with my uncle died. So please give me leave. Why should your leave be only when you are sick? Uh, please, I won't come to work tomorrow. I am sick. Why don't you get leave for evangelism? It will start this year. You will get leave. For what? For what? Evangelism and soul winning. You are going to get leave. You go to your boss and say, I need either one day casual leave or two days casual leave. What do you want it for? There's something I want to do for God. So, I am looking for one day or two days, whatever pe period you need, even one week. So, I have, there's something I want to do for God. Will he refuse? He will not refuse. Go and try it. Then, use that to serve your God. The Lord will be so happy with you. You will see the blessings that will follow you. 
the Lord will be very happy that you're doing what is blessing his heart. That's where his heart is. His eyes are following those people. He has given them a promise. Enter into that promise and see and watch your life. You will see that it was ignorance that kept you in the way you are. What was I doing this, yesterday now? I was just very happy. I said, God, you have done me well. In every way, I see you doing well. I'm so happy. Life is fine. See, oh, wonderful. Jesus, life is fine. I'm feeling fine. Inside me, fine. Around me, fine. Everything, fine. I thought this way is fine. I think this other way is fine. Jesus, oh, one. I say, I love you. I love you. Hey, I love you. I love you so much. Hallelujah. And I attach it to this thing I say. You're serving God faithfully. You're doing this. You're writing books. You're preaching the gospel. You're following up people. You're doing this for him. So he is happy. And he's communicating this joy into my heart. Me, I'm so joyful. I'm looking for people to give testimony to. Yes, very happy. The Lord is doing it. I say God has done all things well. God, I just like it. I like what you're doing. I'm satisfied. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Join me to worship this God. Join me to thank him. But just be waving your hand like this. Hallelujah. God, they are waving to you. They're joining me because you have done me well. He has done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well. Jesus, you have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well. Jesus. I want him to do you well. Go for this assignment and you will see what the Lord will do in your life. The joy he will put in you. When you see this, you see that following. You see prosperity coming up. You see victory. You, you see souls into the kingdom. You see the performance of your heart. You will be very happy. Go. That's what the Lord said. Go and I will bless you. Go and win souls for me. That is what Isaac said unto Esau. He said, go and make venison for me. Let me eat and bless you. Go and make venison. Prepare it the way I lie. Go into the field of evangelism. Get the converts to abide. I will bless you in this life. I will answer your prayers. That is what God is saying. Yield to him. Ye accept it. Paul said, Woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Woe is unto me. How will you go and stand still, sit still, and go and forget? Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, if I forget you. Don't let nothing ever happen that I should forget you. Let nothing ever happen that you should forget winning souls for your Lord. He is ready with his blessing. Special for this year. Go for it. In your life, others may fail, but don't fail. You're different from them. The invitation has come to all to go to heaven. But how, how many are holding to it? But who you hold to it? You hold to it. The call is unto you. Jesus is talking to you. If others don't bother, you bother. Because you need answer to prayers. You need special answer in a special area of your life. So that's what God is saying. If you, you know, the songwriter says, if you bring the one next to you, and I bring the one next to me, in no time at all, in all kinds of weather, 
we will win them one by one as we walk together. You are doing there, I'm doing it here. You are bringing that one, I'm bringing this one. You are also there. She also there. He also there. We are walking together. I am seeing this year the number of people that shall gather for God just as have been prophesied that they are coming shall be great multitudes shall be coming for Jesus. Your units, they shall be coming. Your chapter, they shall be coming. In your state, they shall be coming. In your nation, they shall be coming because the Lord has already given up. And his, God also said, I will advertise you. You see the testimony? When these other evil people were writing to the internet, and they're still writing, every evil word against my life. Hey, Pastor Porica is like this. Pastor Porica is like this. Hey, terrible. The Lord said, don't bother about that. I've gone ahead of them. I have started publicizing you before they started. So I have won over them. So, the Lord has gone ahead to publicize this place, holiness movement. Because we're standing to holiness and we shall stand to holiness. Follow and reap the souls. Follow and just gather the spoil. Gather the spoil. That's gather the, 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 the plenty, the goods. Yes. Because the Lord will do the work. He will use you. Now, back to that scripture. John. John. Chapter 15. I read verse 16. It goes. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit. And that your fruit shall remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Success in evangelism and soul winning is rewarded by the joy you have in your heart. When you exercise this thing, go for soul winning. The Lord will give you joy. The Lord will give you joy. In, in Luke chapter 15, Luke chapter 15 from verse 4 to 10. The Bible tells us here, saying, What man of you, having an hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave them ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost until he find it? And when he had found it, he laid it on his shoulder, rejoicing. I'm telling you, joy in a soul, one. It is a, it's a contest with the devil to win a soul. Imagine somebody lost in occultism. Imagine somebody lost in witchcraft that you went to. It's a battle to win because Satan is pulling, you're pulling. Satan is pulling, you're pulling. And you overcame by the power of God as the contest over the body of Moses between Angel, Angel Michael and Satan. And you overcame. What a joy. He, when he has found it, he rejoices, saying unto his neighbors, Come and rejoice with me. For I lost this my sheep, got lost, but I have found it. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repented. Joy that you want to go and win a soul. It means this year in your life, you who have had this and will do it, you are going to make heaven very happy. Will God not bless your life? Will God not answer your prayer? As you shall make heaven happy with one person. What about if the Lord helps you, you bring 20? Then 
you, you are a star in this life. You, angels shall be pointing to you. There shall be joy. The saints that have departed, who shall hear a record of you, shall rejoice and greet one another in heaven because of you. That you have brought soul to the master. They see him well there. Many wish they came back to the world and display zeal for Jesus. But they could not come. But you are doing it now. What a joy. The Bible says so. Set it. Yeah. Either what woman having ten pieces of silver, if she lost one, one piece, does not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently till she find it. And when she had found it, she called her friends. And had neighbors together saying, The joy is with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that a soul winner brought to God in total repentance. There's joy. I want us to make Jesus happy. Make Jesus happy, happy. Let us make him happy, happy. Make Jesus happy, happy. You should make him happy, happy. I say, let us make him. Brother, let us make him. Sister, let us make him. I say, let us make him. Make Jesus happy. I say, let us make him. Make Jesus happy, happy. You should make him happy, happy. Make heaven happy, happy. Let us make them happy, happy. Let us make him. I say, let us make him. I say, let us make him happy. I say, let us make him. That is it. This year. Make Jesus happy. Over one soul, then how much more? Fifty. How much more? Hundred. David has special means. They are head and shoulder above others. They are generals in his army. May God make you a general. Display your skill. Display your zeal before the Lord. This year is given to you. Look at the field. Move, display, let the angels see you. Let the creator of your life see you and rejoice that he preserved your life. And he said, his reward is with him. There is the eternal crown of rejoicing awaiting the successful soul winner. There is the promise of wisdom. God has resolved. To be given to the soul winner the eternal brightness and the shining as stars awaiting the the fruitful soul winner yes go ready to water he that water it shall also be watered himself god is ready to water your life this year is full for you this year is full for you a blessed year a peaceful year, a year of advancement, a year in which your will will be done. You will be spreading blessings upon others, war over others. You will be casting blessings all around that people should take, like a man standing before his chicks or chickens to throw food around them, and they are running up and down, eating, rejoicing, 
I said, this man is a good man. God will make you good because you will be praying for others. You will be making intercessions and God says he will answer because you will be making heaven happy. You will be making God happy. That is what we have for you. Let, let, so that you know this well. God has promised you and he will do this. He has promised you. The scripture has said he will, put, he will open his ears to your prayers to grant your heart desire yes this year the year of fruitful evangelism and answered prayers they are joined together as righteousness and peace is have met together have kissed each other they are joined together evangelism and answered prayers fruitful evangelism and answered prayers as truth mercy and truth met to are met together they go together. Righteousness and peace go, go together. Mercy and truth go together. Evangelism and answer prayer will go with you this year. It will go with you this year. Rise up upon your feet and say and claim it. That God, I know all these delays in my life. I, I myself, I will walk them out from my life. I will walk them out. All the battles of my life. I'm going to walk through victory this year because I'm going to do this evangelism, soul winning. I'm going to do it, and the souls will abide. Not just going about, I will do it purposely to make sure souls abide in the kingdom. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. God will do it for you. He will go with you. Follow me. I will make you. Fishers of men. Worship. Thank you. Follow me. I will make you. Fishers of men. Follow me. Follow Jesus. He will make you. Worship. Glory to God. Grace. Ask for grace. Ask for grace. To be sufficient for you for this calling in holiness of our movement for this year. Jesus happy. Make Jesus happy. Tell him, make a promise. Let him help you, you will make him happy. Hey. Tell him, you will make him happy. You need his help. You need his grace. But as for you, you are going to make him happy. You will do your best. New people will come to church, come to the movement, come to Jesus because of you. Make Jesus happy, happy. Let us make him happy. Go and win souls and he'll be happy with you. Heaven will be rejoicing with you. And then, answer prayers. Year of fruitful evangelism and answer prayers. The year of fruitful evangelism and answer prayer. Ask for grace. Tell the Lord to help you. 
He will make you fishers of men. Father, make your children fruitful. Make your children fruitful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let the power come upon your people. They are entering into the world 2024. It's a year of fruitful evangelism and answered prayers. Thank you, Lord. Worship is done. Let anointing come on your children. Let grace come upon your children. Let their ears open wide. Let them go for performance. Go for performance. Go and perform it. Thank you, Jesus. Worship. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. Your life will be a new one. You will be blessed. Jesus' name we pray. The year of fruitful evangelism and answered prayer. 2024, say it, let me hear. Yeah. 2024, tell me, let me hear. Two thousand and twenty four. The year of fruitful evangelism and answered prayers. I'm going to seal it. God's eye shall move with you. As you do, he will bless. God shall stand to his word in your life. Yeah. Raise up your hands before God. I'm going to agree to this. This covenant that God has entered into with us, let the God of heaven stand to it. Yeah. Let him train us on evangelism. In dry places, let him water them. Yeah. Where the devil's seed is, let him give us boldness there. Yeah. Let him take away all discouragement. Yeah. Oh, um, we're not winning so we've been going out. Let him give us souls in every place. Yeah. Whatever the nature of that place. The spirit that is already going in the lives of many of our brethren. Let there be revival from place to place, nation to nation. In Jesus' name we pray. Almighty Father, we are making requests. This covenant 
you have taken us into oh lord perform it god let's start hearing testimony very early the year in the year people coming to say this is what i did in soul winning and this is what the lord has done let these testimonies be rampant in units in chapters in churches in zoom in the states in the nation in jesus name my god let not your children forget this assignment because it is because the lord wants to bless us that he has given us this assignment oh lord may we see the blessing over the whole holiness revival movement in jesus name and we are praying other christian bodies other christian denominations will enjoy you through us in jesus name Lord, sinners that have been doomed for hell shall become children of God, praising your name because of what you are doing among us, because of this covenant we have entered into you. In Jesus' name! Remember our brethren, remember our sisters and brothers in their specific needs. Lord, you said if they will go and win souls for you and the souls will abide you will answer their prayers all this delay in marriages delay in childbearing frustration of the devil oppression of powers of darkness poverty desire delay desire deny shall be the thing of the past in Jesus' name! Wherever the person is alone, now he shall multiply. This, he shall not be alone again. By the power conferred upon him, conferred upon her in that country, in that state, in that location where he is, Father, he shall multiply. He shall bring souls to Jesus. And they shall become many in Jesus' name. And their answers will come. Any of our sisters that is in a location alone and is looking for husband, he will, she will find husband. Any of our brother that is in a location alone and is looking for a wife, he will find a wife as they submit themselves to this instruction into this covenant and work for you surprise them in jesus name give our leaders the ability to follow up this covenant throughout this year thank you father in jesus name we pray this one is for the year you have entered into 2024 but then you need to take home we have packaged a blessing for you to take home you understand eat and carry you are taking home a package jesus is saying oh the you came for watch night. Ah, I have decided to bless everybody that come here. Amen. Amen. So, now, angels will be sharing packages to people. Amen. Get ready. You will receive your own. Yeah. Open your mouth and say, God, I want my own. Oh. Yes, talk to him. Talk to him. I need my own. I want to, I don't want to miss it. Please. Let, let, let me be remembered.
as the angels go round. Yes, as the angels go round and are passing parcels, just Lord, remember me. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, your parcel. The good God is giving us gifts. Collect, collect. <laughs> Kai is wonderful. You will laugh. You will laugh. Joyful laughter. Joyful laughter. You will joy. When you open your package, you say, Is that what God has done for me for this year? Believe God. Collect your package. Promise him you will serve him. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, raise up your hands to collect your parcel. Hey, the Lord just chose to give gifts today. God, we are just grateful. You just decided to give gifts. You are a good person. God is good. Thank you for deciding to give gifts to your children. To give them blessings. Every person according to the blessing you desire for his life, for her life. Thank you, Father. Give it to them. Collect. Receive with joy. Be happy with your God. Receive. In the name of Jesus. Wonderful. Wonderful. God has decided to dress you. Make you new. Ha uh ha. -uh. But what will I say about this God? To some people, it is money enough for them to do something they desire to do. He has given you the money. Oh, this is fine. To some, in fact, he has just arranged your marriage. Receive the package of God. The package of God. Somebody will visit your family and make a difference in that family. God will send him I said, God is sending him to your place. This is fantastic. Fantastic. Those sicknesses will dry. You will be free. Be healed. In Jesus' name. Wonderful. God has driven the demon troubling your life. In Jesus' name. Yeah. 
God decided to come himself in your case. I'm talking to somebody. God decided to come himself in your own case. Wonderful. Thank him for it. Thank him for it. This is wonderful. Ha. Ah. Always love to come in his presence. He's a good person. See what he has done for you today. See what the Lord has done for you today. Wonderful. Ha. Ah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Receive it. Be happy. Go and testify to others. When you open your parcel, as you see the manifest, as you see the manifest, you will remember He gave you here. It is here it came to you. In Jesus' name we pray. That area is finished. You have got it. So it's the miracle. Everything. You have got it. Amen. But there are some people who have made up their minds that they will live a new life with Jesus this year. They have made up their minds. I want to dedicate those people to him. I will dedicate them to him, to Jesus. You are among the, you are a sinner. You are a sinner. But you just said, this year, I don't want to enter this year with sin. I want to identify with Jesus. I want to identify with Jesus. Can you raise up your hand where you are? I mean, there are people like that. I want to commit you to Jesus. Come forward here. I want to commit you. Let Jesus collect you, receive you, wash you clean. Have you been to Jesus for the clean sin power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking? Ask no. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you one? Are you one in the blood? In the blood, in the soul, cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments spotless? Are they white? Are you one in the blood? Come forward to be washed. Are you one in the blood? In the soul, cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you one in the blood of the Lamb? The Lord is Ready to wash you clean and give you this year. Enter with it. Enter into it with joy. With a new life. Commit yourself to the Lord.
tell Jesus no more sinful past give me a new heart a new heart also will I give you request it a new spirit will I put within you request for it I will take away the evil heart from you ask God to do it I will give you a good heart take it from God thank you Jesus everybody go for prayers Present yourself to God for a better year. Let the Lord sanctify you holy. Let the Spirit of the Lord renew your life. O oh Lord divine, wash these ones and make them clean. Jesus, cleanse their lives. Cleanse their lives. Make them new, new creatures new new creature jesus break the yoke in them destroy satan that is cohabiting in their lives destroy him oh lord give them opportunity to be your children give them opportunity lord to be your children let the holy ghost squeeze out the devil cut off his head and give these people salvation give these people deliverance Jesus let your angels carry out deliverance in the lives of these people who oh. I stand by your power and bind the devil in the lives of these people I break his power in their lives I burn it with fire in the name of Jesus. God, I commit them to you. Commit them to you. I commit them to you. Let your spirit come upon them, the spirit of Christ, the spirit of Christ, and make them born again. In Jesus' mighty name, make them born again. Father, loose them from the hand of Satan. Break that power in their life. Let the power of sonship come into them. As many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. So Father, let them receive power as sons. Children of God, change them. Wash them clean. You commit yourself to Jesus and tell him you are altogether new. You have made up your mind. You will serve him perfect this year. This world is not my home. It's not your home. You are just passing through. If Jesus does not take you, where will, then, where will you land? Promise him you will serve him. Thank you. Lord, I bless you. Lord, I thank you. Glory to your name. I worship. Let the spirit of grace come upon your life. The spirit of salvation come upon your life. From Jesus. From Jesus. From Jesus. From Jesus. You have the desire of your heart. This year, you will walk through without sin. Satan will not succeed. The power of God will block him in your life. You will be saved. God will save you now. God will accept you. He will forgive your sins. Thank him for, doing that, for his doing that. Thank him. Jesus' name we pray almighty you have done it you're a god of covenant he that comes to me i don't drive away i will serve him i'll forgive his sins the remitters and forgiveness of sins be preached in the name of jesus in all the world tell them to come he that is full of his sins I will give him rest. 
I give him forgiveness. Receive forgiveness. Receive rest. In Jesus' name. Receive grace. Receive Jesus. Thank you. Go in peace. Identify with fellow and with the church, with the movement. Be serious there. Be serious. Be serious. God has decided to be serious with you. You are his child. In Jesus' name. Now, I want you to believe that something great has been done in your life by God. And then tell God that you will not leave him. And that he should not remove his hand, his good hand from your life. Close your eyes and pray. God, I know you have done something great. And Lord, I'm not going to leave you. And I don't want you to remove your hand from my life. I don't want you to remove your hand from my life. Tell the Lord, and I will not leave you.